All right, welcome to this episode of Rob's Restoration Garage. In this episode, I'm gonna work on the back part of this rear quarter panel. I'm gonna take a little bit of a different approach than I did on the other side. So let me show you what we're gonna do in this episode. So what I'm gonna work on is this piece that goes from here over to this edge. You can see if you look down in, this was actually two pieces that come together. I have this piece already finished. I did that in the last episode, but now I'm gonna work on this piece. So the challenging part is it's got a curve obvious to it, but it also has a crown that goes down uh, the shape of the car. On the other side, and I'm not finished with it, but I had to make the same repair. You can see it here. And I basically made it with just a couple of pieces of metal that I welded together. So I took and bent the pieces of metal welded it together and then welded it all into place. But I'm gonna do a different approach on the other side. So the approach I'm gonna take on this side is I decided I wanted to see if I could maybe form the panel, maybe not in a couple of pieces, maybe two, maybe one, using a beater bag. So I ordered this from um, Eastwood. Basically I did it, I ordered the beater bag and uh, there their two inch teardrop handle. And the idea is this leather bag is gonna be filled with sand and it allows you to use the hammer to pound on the metal and it gives in the middle and it allows it to stretch it and you can curve it however you want. So I've never used one before. I decided that's what I wanted to try. I know I've seen online where you can make your own uh, beater bag. I didn't really wanna fiddle around with that so I just decided to buy mine off of Eastwood um, and I'm going to fill it up with sand and see how it goes. So the way this uh, Eastwood beater bag is made is it's stitched along uh, the sides. Up here on one of the edges is a little Velcro chute. It's like double Velcroed and you just pry it open. I stuck a funnel in and then I took and filled a little container full of sand and just kept filling it until I got it to where I felt like it was going to work. Then I actually started working on this panel. And so it's a matter of, I started with a flat square and I just started pounding and shaping and then I had to flip it over uh, to start to get the shape. It honestly didn't take me that long. And let me show you how it lines up on the car already. So when I first started looking at creating this piece, at first I thought, well, maybe I need to kind of get this crown going this direction. But then I started to realizing, well, I probably need to get this curve first. So I worked it on the, with the hammer and the beater bag and you can kind of see now where it's starting to already take shape and line up, which honestly took a lot. It's not perfect, but it's getting close. So now that I'm starting to get that shape, in order to get this crown to go down, I'm gonna have to experiment around with it, but I'm gonna cut some of the excess metal away. But then I may end up having to actually, I'm gonna have to just play around with it. I may actually have to cut a slot in this to shrink the metal down and re-weld it back together, um, just because obviously it's gonna go down to a point. But I just gotta keep playing with it. I, brought, I got the general shape and uh, hopefully it'll keep coming together. So right now I'm gonna trim it down a little bit, give me a smaller piece to work with, and see if we can get this crown to kind of go towards what will ultimately be the bottom of the car. All right, well, I'm out here again this morning. It's a little, little colder out here, which is fine. Feels nice. And what I decided to do on this was I had the curved piece all made with the beater bag and I decided there was just no way to get it to curve down this way. Once you had, once you'd gotten the curve this way, there's no way to get the crown that way. So I actually cut it in a couple of pieces to be able to then weld it in. So before I could do that, I needed to finish off this panel, which I'm working on. I got it, uh, I've got it all, the magnets all holding it in place and I had to need to trim it. I still need to put this flange piece on here or this uh, other edge, 
that the two pieces are attached to. So that's what I'm working on right now. So here's my uh, little tab on that side. Uh, it's really just a matter of putting a straight piece connected on here, weld it on this side, weld it on the other side, and then be able to grind it down to where it matches everything, the curve. So now that I have that, I can actually start putting together this space from here up with what I've already <clears throat> created with the beater bag and connect it over. I think one of the hardest things that I've kind of discovered when you're talking about curves like this and tapers and all those things is if you want to think that you can cut something straight out of a rectangle and it's visually hard to get everything lined up. So to give you an example of what I'm talking about, like I have this piece that I've used to curve it this way and the crown that goes this way. And obviously I start with something big and it, this, it's interesting because when you look down the line here, this doesn't look straight, but it actually is straight. It's because of the curve. So even here, I wanted to cut this off close to what this would be in line with this. And when you look at it, after I drew the line on it, it looks super crooked, but let me grab this piece of metal and I'll show you what I mean. When I lay this on there to get the straight line, you can see it actually is straight or it's about straight. And obviously I want to leave myself some wiggle room on this, but visually it doesn't look straight. So kind of the way all those curves, and obviously I'm going to have to go in and put one more piece in here to make this curve and I'll do that. But I wanted to get this lined up right and got a little, got to sort, sort that out. I'm trying to get this curve right going this way. It's hard to see. And I'll make sure that it matches on the other piece so that it all flows. But man, it's hard to do it and visually see it and think that it's right until you start welding it in. So I cut that piece off on that line that I had drawn. And on the car, this angle doesn't look right, but if you look at it, it actually does line up. And obviously those things are gonna get welded together. And I'll try to make it to look like there's a seam there because on the original, that's what it would have looked like. So this is in the right crown curvature. So then I just gotta make sure that it matches right on the actual car. Well, I ended up uh, stepping away from this project for actually quite a long time. I had a bunch of other projects that stepped in the way of this. Uh, our everyday cars that I had to fix and some other projects that were going on. I finally got back to it today and let me show you how I put the pieces together, um, where it is at this point, it's not finished. I think I'll, it'll be enough for this video to stop so you can get a picture, get an idea of what I was trying to accomplish with it. So let's take a look at it. So I went ahead and installed this uh, rear quarter piece that I had built and I still gotta go clean up the welds and everything. Um, and then on this piece here, it's the you can see this was the piece that I was working on and all of this I actually had pounded out with the, with the um, beater bag and then I had to cut it in pieces to actually get the, the curvature right. So I basically tacked it in place to make sure it all fit. And so now what I'll do is I'll go and cut all the edge welds off and weld it all together, make it one piece, grind it all smooth the best that I can, and then go back and reinstall it. But I was trying to get all the lines and everything lined up. I'll need to go in on the inside and clamp the two flange pieces that I put on the inside so that I can weld down the middle of this at least a little bit to put that seam together like it is uh, below that. So this will all need to get welded in and grind it off and made to look clean, uh, but it should be, and I need to put the little crimp seam like this as far across as I can, and I'll do that with the crimp tool. Uh, but I think, 
Uh, I think I'm done for this part of it. I'll weld all this all, all together and put it all on. And I'll show you that uh, probably in the next video.